This is how to become a pro at Gorilla Tag. This video is for all you new people that got Oculuses for Christmas and downloaded Gorilla Tag and want to know how to get better at it. And I'm here to post this video to teach you how to get better. I'm also going to find someone random in a public lobby that's new and teach them. So you can just go off of what I'm teaching them. Anyways, let's get straight into a lobby. Friend casual. Now let's go into a public lobby. Oh yeah. It's loaded with them. Hi guys, new. Are you guys I am new? Sitting down on my bed right now. I, I'm new. Who's new? Me too. Me. Me. Right here. Me. Are you new? Me right here. Right yeah. here. Right here. Right here. I want to change my name. Okay, I can teach you how to change your name, and I'm gonna teach you how to join a lobby. All right. Everyone, read me this right here. W-T-Q-3-Z. All right. Now you see this funny little enter button? Press it. Yeah. yeah. Press it. All right, and I'm not joining that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm gonna join. Hi. Right. All right, enter. All right, should be hooked up with them. Oh, yeah, here they are. Okay, are we gonna deal with you today, Terry? Oh, I was looking forward to you, Terry. I don't think anyone else got it. All right, what's up, Terry? You new? Yes. All right, that's how you do a handshake. I wanna learn how to but do that. Take your right arm, and that's like the motion. That? It's a big old C, but you mainly wanna push like down, so you go up. You mean like, like this? Yes. You just wanna like hit the wall with some like emphasis. Hit the wall, and then hit that wall. You look at the wall, hit it, go up. Hit it, hit it, hit it. There's a bunch of uh, like that. The three main tips I can give you for wall bouncing are one, throw your arm to your sides along with the C motion, and two, look at the wall when you hit off of it. And three, start your hand at your shoulder and throw it down somewhere near your waist. Oh, another guy got it. Who's this guy? Tristan, it's Tristan. What's up, Trist? Oh yeah. Yeah, put her there. Hey, Terry, how are you doing, Terry? Terry, you're getting it, dude. You're welcome. I just don't want them to know that I'm, I'm not new. Hey, he's not new. Terry, I'm Terry. New. Listen here, Ta yeah. Terry. Terry, you want to look at the wall. You don't just look forward. Look at the wall, hit it. It kind of helps for new people. Hit harder, hit harder, and more like down yep there you go that one was perfect keep doing it keep looking at it oh look at him he's a natural keep going oh he was almost there what's your name terry i'm sorry but tristan over here kind of wants to move on to pinch climbing so i'm gonna give you a rating for that one you get a good 4.5 bud oh oh he's getting it oh yeah oh, he, he don't even need a teacher for this one. Oh, oh yeah make the grunting noises it helps oh hey great first try what you're gonna want to do for this one is make a two big circles with your arms and kind of pinch the wall just like this you get two big circles going not like overextend yourself but some pretty decent circles and don't get your controllers too close because they'll obviously smack each other and then i don't know maybe looking up if it helps or what i do is i basically just look right at the pole thing i don't know this is what it looks like if you're doing it just i'm literally doing the same it. movement oh he's terry's up here terry is up here hey five stars terry hey great job bud give me knuckles Boom. You guys want to learn this next? Yes. This one's going to be called wall running. Okay, we're just going to use the stump right now because it looks pretty easy for a beginner. The three main tips I can give you for wall running are one, the slanter, the wall, the easier. Two, you want to move with your dominant hand in an oval shape, like in the air. Three, know when to do an oval shape. Understand the wall is what I say in the video, but you got to know when to do the oval. You don't just do an oval to do an oval. It's basically a wall. It's kind of slanted and the other walls are more vertical and this one's kind of more horizontal. You got that, Tristan? I I also got that. Ah, sweet Terry. Give me give me five, man. What I do, I don't know if this helps or not, but I kind of do it. I flip my controller like this, so my hand is like facing the wall. Just go in a big oval. But like, don't just do an oval to do an oval. You kind of have to like understand the wall. But if I just did like ovals right here, it just wouldn't work because that's not how the wall works. I'm just doing ovals and it, it just like pushes you off. 
So for here, you gotta like understand the wall. Like, also rhythm. You can't do the same rhythm and expect to get somewhere. You have to like know when to do the oval, like the repeating process of the oval. You don't just do this basically. You do like this, that, that, this, that. I'm gonna try to teach Tristan and Terry the ways of the wall. When you wanna learn how to do this, it's easier. Yes. For this one, it's pretty straightforward. The three main tips I give you for wall climbing is one, angle your hands inwards, and two, it's like swimming in a way, and three, do not push out away from your body. That will make you just fall straight to the ground. You want to be parallel to the wall. You want to put your arms out and copy this movement. You're basically swimming, but you're looking up. You don't want to put your arms out, actually. Like this? Don't put them out like this. That will push you away from the wall and push you off onto the snow. Another tip. When you're on your right hand, look to your left. When you're on your left hand, look to your right. It helps, trust me. I don't know how it does, but it do. One, two, one, two, one, two. See how I'm looking to my left when I'm on my right? Looking to my right when I'm on my left. It's easier. Right, you're doing this, and you need, you need to push down so the wall gets you. So down, because you push down, you go up. If you push at the wall, you go backwards. That's another thing. You want to angle your hands like this. Put your hand right here. Copy this. Boom. Boom. Right? Okay, I think Terry's gone. Bruh. Okay, never gonna see Terry again. Okay, guys, now our last skill that I'm gonna teach you is wall running. The easiest place I think to do it is on this branch and jump off of it onto this wall right here because it's so slanted. And if you fall, this wall right here is so slanted it's easy to get back up. But this is basically what wall running is. Running on the wall, I guess. You basically want to put your hand to the right of the wall. It's easier, I think. And you do ovals. You don't just do an oval to do an oval. You gotta know when to do the oval. So like, I don't just do that now. Like you do it when you hit it. And oval. Oval. Not now, but oval. 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 You know what I mean, you guys? Like you don't just do it right there. You gotta have a purpose when you're doing one of these ovals. Like oval right there, oval right there. Not just spamming it. Cause look, look what that gets you. Nowhere. You gotta like know when to hit it. And what some people do, this is called Lucio running, which is very advanced. It's basically a version of doing this, but getting to do it faster. So you do it with two hands. But I think this one's pretty, pretty easy though. Wall running, my hand is to the right. I'm doing it oval when I need to. I'm not just doing it to do it. You don't spam it midair. You need to hit it when you're on the surface. All right, guys, that's all that I have for you guys in this video. I might make another one if you guys say you want to learn something else, like maybe branching, but branching is pretty, it's not advanced, but it, I, I think it's pretty easy, but you're basically just moving from a branch to a branch, and you can do that on the ground. You can move on the ground. And I'm, I think you guys know how to do that. Be horizontal to the ground. Or pushing down makes you go up. Being horizontal, I'm literally just moving my arm horizontally in my room right now. That's going to move you on the ground. Hopefully that helps. But yeah, I'm probably going to end the video right there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to me, like this video, and join my Discord. It's been pretty active lately because they just did a giveaway. Yeah, drop a comment down below of what video I should do next. Hopefully this video helped. Bye.